Hello, writers of Facebook. How are you? Um, funny story for you today. So I went to see, some, we've had the Edinburgh International Festival through August, lots of comedy on, a friend recommended I go and see a comedian. I went to see him, he was very funny. That comedian was then nominated for a prize. And my friend who had made the recommendation sent me a screenshot and said, look, he's been nominated for a, a prize. But next to that comedian's name was another comedian's name, a young woman. And she has an unusual name and I recognised it straight away. And I thought, oh, that's funny. I know that girl, or who will be a woman now, or who is a woman now, that I know her. That's really odd. She was the daughter of a boss of mine, an ex-boss of mine, someone I used to work for. And so immediately... I went to, onto YouTube, I was like, I've got to find out about her because I've met her once when she was about six and now here she is, this grown up doing stand up comedy live on stage. So I said, oh my goodness, I've got to find out about her comedy and what she's doing. Is she funny? Is she not? What's going on? So I went to YouTube and um, I looked her up and I looked at all the little clips that came up and what I noticed was because um, she was getting established and I think this is probably similar for all comedians she had her set so she had a set that she'd put together and she was practicing that set so she'd get up on stage at university gigs small club gigs wherever she was wherever she was touring on the circuit and she'd give the same set she'd perform the same set and it was interesting just seeing how okay so she'll be tweaking this she'll be tweaking that she'll be changing her She'll be pausing in different places. She'll be trying that out. She'll put emphasis on different words, depending on how the audience is reacting. And I could see her watching the audience and kind of trying to gauge their response and how they were responding to her and to the material. And I was thinking about that and thinking, wow, I'm so glad <laughs> I don't have to do that. I am so glad I don't need to take my early drafts of work and go up on stage and uh, read them out in front of people. And an audience who, let's be honest, comedy audiences, particularly on a Friday night, they're almost baying for you to, uh, to fail. They wanna see what you're made of. They wanna test your mettle. Imagine doing that night after night after night. My nerves would be shot <laughs> by now. But I thought, okay, we don't have to do that as writers. As writers, we get to sit at our desk in the privacy of our own home and we get to revise and revise and revise and then we can ask people to read little snippets and it being a writing um, environment, everyone's very, very supportive. So we don't have this live audience who have had a few drinks being for our blood, you know, willing us to kind of fail almost, but saying, see what you, I want to know what you've got, I want to know what you've got instead. We get to do it in a nice, calm, private way where we can take our time, revise things, get them to a state where we are happy to share them. So I thought that was a really interesting to sh thing to share and how if you are procrastinating about getting started, just know that you're in safe hands because you're in your own hands. You've not got an audience waiting there to pull you down and sit in stony silence and give you no respect and no response. You get to do this for yourself. And so don't hold, don't be waiting, you know, don't be uh, holding on to the story idea that you want to share, waiting and waiting and waiting and criticizing yourself before you've even written anything down. Know that you're doing it in a safe space and know that the people who you will eventually share it with are going to be supportive and going to be encouraging. And just be thankful that you're not a comedian and having to do it live on stage. Take courage, take courage from them. Uh, know that that's what they're doing. You don't have to do that. So it's safe for you to go and write your early drafts of your novel. So go for it, go ahead and do it. You've only got yourself to impress. All right, bye.